that's how you know it's baked <laughs> It's day two of the lockdown and I'm out of bread. So today I'm going to attempt to make my own bread. Come along with me and I'll show you how. What you're going to do first is to proof your yeast. So what we're going to do is we're going to get one tablespoon one tablespoon of the yeast to the bowl we're going to add two cups of warm water two cups of warm water Or maybe just a teaspoon of sugar and we're going to mix that in this step is called proofing the yeast now the sugar is supposed to help the yeast activate So we're going to let this stand for five to ten minutes and then we'll get started on our dough. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. A bit foamy as you can see. So it's now poofed. Now that it's poofed, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So we're going to add two teaspoons of salt we're going to add the rest of the sugar which is quarter cup we're going to add two tablespoons of oil Next, we're going to add three cups of flour. And I did use my knife to level off the flour, make sure it's measured properly. Another thing you might want to consider is um, sieving your flour because as you can see it's um, pretty lumpy. So now that we mix that in, we're going to have add the other half cup. So in total, we're going to use four cups of flour. So 
this is definitely not the consistency we should have. Um, we should be able to knead this and this is way too sticky. So I'm going to add a bit more flour. So I'm gonna go in with my hand and we're going to start the kneading process. Oh my gosh guys, so our dough is finally ready. It's elasticy. See? This is finally the consistency that we want. Oops. Yeah, so this is the consistency we want. Just going to press it right here. We're going to just grease the bowl. Just grease the bowl. going to cover it and we're going to leave it to sit for an hour and a half by that time the dough should increase in size will double in size guys look at this look how big it got oh my gosh so now you're going to bunch it
we're going to leave them to stand for 45 minutes and let them rise once more. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, they both. However, this one is not as high because I was messing with this one to get it shaped properly. <laughs> Or to shape better so as you can see it's not as high so now we're going to pop them in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 167 degrees Celsius so let's go all right guys so it's been 35 minutes and we're going to check to see if our breads are baked. That's how you know it's baked. So let me get them out of the pan. Go there. This one is almost burnt. and do a taste test for you guys all right so i'm gonna give them about 10 minutes to cool and then we do a taste test okay all right guys i'm back so i'm going to just put one of the bread we're going to do on this one let's see It definitely does taste like bread. <laughs> However, it's a little dry. It's a little dry. It's spongy though. So out of 10, I would say it's about maybe an 8. It does taste good, but the only thing is it's a little dry. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to try this recipe again. Who knows, maybe I'll start making my own bread. So go ahead and put a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Let me know if you're going to try. Let me know how it turns out. And we'll see you in the next video.